seven to ten here, very much the favourite. Then we've got four Armatec. This one's now five to two. It was nine to four. They went five to two, nine to four, five to two. So they can't quite make up their mind about this one. Three lateral on this one has drifted threes. It's now actually a four to one shot. Another one who's drifted a fair bit is one Edredon Blur. Six, seven, eight, now a nine to one shot. Icky Bow, this is the five horse, Ferdy Murphy's horse, now 33 to one. And they're not very keen on Castle Prince because he's 50, 66, now 100 to one shot. Of Edredon Blur as they run towards the first fence. They both jump it fast and fluently with on the outside with the white face Latter Lomney. White jacketed Seabold on the inside between those is Armour Turk in orange. And finally Castle Prince at the back. They've gone herring off these two leaders. And on the inside it's Itchy Bow that just has a, a narrow advantage over Edredon Blur. As they race away towards the second. Seabold on the inside of Latter Lomney and then Armour Turk. And finally, Castle Prince would be uh, seven or eight lengths off the leading pair. Over that one, a mistake by Latta Lomney there on the outside. Made a mistake going towards the next. Through the Merc here, difficult to pick them out. Itchy Bow was on the inside of Edredon Blur. Edredon Blur on the inside of Itchy Bow. Armour Turk on the outside of runners. Seabold, Latta Lomney and Castle Prince. I think they're about to jump the first in the back. So, rising at this one, Edredon Blur on the inside. Seabold was certainly right there. Armour Turk is on their heels as well as they go to another. And Itchy Bow in the blue cap in the centre. Three in the air together there. Seabold on the outside of Itchy Bow and then Edredon Blur up the inside. And these three have pulled clear. Latter Lomney seems to be struggling. Armour Turk is back in fourth but appears to be four or five lengths off the front trio and Castle Prince on the inside. At that next fence, Edredon Bleu landed in front once again. It's Edredon Bleu with, in second place, Itchy Bow, Seabold on the outside. This is the last in the back straight. It's an open ditch, and it was Edredon Bleu, Seabold right on terms, but racing wide under Tony McCoy. Armour Turk now goes chasing after the front pair, and then uh, it looks as though Itchy Bow is feeling the pace. Castle Prince and Latter Lomney under pressure at the rear. They once again race into the Merc at the far end, and it's the old fellow Edredon Blur that continues to show out in front here by a length and a half to two lengths to Seabold in second place, and Armour Turk just two or three lengths behind them. As they round round the bottom bend, they've got four fences left to jump. Jim Cullard, he gets to work on the leader, Edredon Blur. Seabold now is shaken up by the champion jockey on the outside, and Armour Turk struggling to go with them. They head down towards four out then. And it's still just Edredon Blur on the inside of Seabold. Seabold put in an exuberant jump there, but Edredon Blur is pulling away again. Here's the third last. A great jump, Edredon Blur from Seabold, who's now beaten in second place. The leader has got this one. If he can just jump the last two, Edredon Blur, he slips over the second last. Seabold is eight or ten lengths down in second place. Then a gap to Armour Turk and Castle Prince. Who needs best, mate, if you've got Edredon Blur? It's Edredon Blur here. Here's the final fence in the Holden Gold Cup. He's safe and sound over. In second place, Seabold, who jumped it well, but he can't live with the 2000 champion chaser. And it's Edredon Blur, who strides up to the line, right back to his best. In second is Seabold. There's a long gap then. Armour Turk is running on the one spot, but should hold third just ahead of Castle Prince. Whoa. 10 to 1. It's a huge price. <laughs> Beating home even money favourite Seabold, the two horses second and all six rounds.